Formula One's crusade against Americans continues. Logan Sargent is benched for Alex Albon's crash. To quote the great Silvio Dante, you know what this is? It's anti-American discrimination. And that's exactly what's happening here. We all know that Formula One does not like Americans at all. They like American money. They like to come here, have three races, take all the cash that they can and attract as many American sponsors, but they absolutely hate Americans being involved in the sport. First, it was, of course, this earlier this year, you had Andretti getting an absolutely brutal rejection from Formula One, along with Cadillac, which is embarrassing on Formula One's part. And now this weekend at the Australian Grand Prix, Logan Sargent, the American, has been benched because Alex Albon crashed and totaled his car in free practice one. And you're probably thinking, how did he get benched when another guy crashed the car? And it's a great question, and I'll answer it for you. Williams only has two chassis in Australia. One of those is now completely totaled because Alex Albon got loose going over the curb, heading off into the backstretch at Albert Park, and absolutely annihilated the wall like he was Mick Schumacher. The team, having now decided that they don't have a spare chassis in Australia, and the other one's going to have to be shipped back to Grove in England to be repaired at the factory, have taken the measure to bench Logan Sargent for the weekend and give his car to Alex Albon. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to make sense, does it? Now, when you look at it from Williams' standpoint, they're doing this because they think that Albon gives them the best chance to score points, and I can't argue with that. Last year, Alex Albon scored 27 points. Logan Sargent scored exactly one point. So you can see where they're coming from. But at the same time, these two drivers aren't racing for a championship. If they were, I'd be like, yeah, give Albon the car then because that makes the most sense. And honestly, they probably won't even score points this weekend in Australia. So at the end of the day, you're really not making a move that makes a lot of sense. Sure. Can Albon get more out of the car than Sargent? Yeah, I think we all agree there. At the same time, though, Logan Sargent's being punished for something that he didn't do. And we're going to support him, right? I mean, he's the American there. Is he the best American open-wheel driver that this country has to offer? Absolutely not. But he went over and played the little game in Europe, climbed their stupid arbitrary ladder, and now he's in Formula One. So he deserves the support that, that he gets. And the rest of the world might mock him. And it's a bit like having a sibling, right? I can make fun of my sibling. You can't make fun of my sibling. If we, you do that, then we have a problem. And that's how we treat Logan Sargent. He's ours. Is he good? No, we know that. But at the same time, we're going to support him. I didn't buy an American flag Williams shirt just because I liked it. I actually don't like it. I hate this little cuffing action that they do right here. I really hate that it's different colors. I hate the cuffs to begin with. Hate that they're different colors. That's a complete side note. But I did it because it's cool to see an American in Formula One. And if Andretti got into Formula One, especially with Cadillac, since I own a Cadillac, guess what? I'd be decked out in Cadillac Andretti merch every single video I do about Formula One. Regardless, Logan Sargent's now been benched, and it's not fair for him. But hey, at least James Vowles, the team principal, said that he's been a consummate professional through this whole process. Yo, great. That really is going to make him feel better when he's sitting in the garage. Garage? Garage. I'm not British. What am I saying? On Sunday, watching his car go around the racetrack with Alex Albon on it. And then if Albon totals the car on Sunday or in free practice three or in qualifying tonight, that's going to look even worse on them. And yeah, Logan Sargent did spin out in free practice too, and they could have easily written off two chassis this weekend in the first two practice sessions of the of the weekend, but he didn't. And now he's just still being punished for something that Alex Albon did, something that he's done the last two years in a row now. Last year in Australia, he totaled a car. This year in Australia, he has absolutely totaled the car. And I like Alex Albon. I think that guy is a future race winner. I think he has a ton of talent. But apparently when it comes to Albert Park in Melbourne, he just doesn't figure out how to get around the racetrack. He wants to exit track right or track left every single year, potentially even both exits at the same time. He'll bounce off one and smack the other one and absolutely destroy the car. So again, I understand it. I don't love it. And this is a bit unprecedented. There, Back in the day, what's Think back like 20 years. We'll just use that for example. 2004 United States Grand Prix. Williams, once again, had Juan Pablo Montoya on the grid. Car didn't start. 
Couldn't get it to go. So Montoya hops out of the car. He sprints down the pit lane at Indianapolis, runs into the garage because they have a third car sitting there ready to go. And that used to be the norm in Formula One. Teams would bring three cars each weekend and the spare car would be set up generally to whoever is leading the points, whoever's the number one driver in the team in case anything went wrong and like it did there. Obviously now because of cost saving measures, Formula One doesn't do that anymore. Uh, but you know, maybe we want to consider doing that so we don't have another situation like this or at least at minimum, travel with a spare tub uh, for for their drivers. It's embarrassing for Williams and doesn't really come at a great week for them because just this week they talked about how when James got there, uh, Williams was basically managing their Formula One part list through a 20,000 cell Excel spreadsheet, which honestly, 20,000 parts being managed through there isn't the craziest thing. I've ever heard. Is it the best system for it? Absolutely not. And I'm sure all the other Formula Formula One teams were looking at that, going, "Oh my God, dude! There are other other systems to be able to track all of this." Essentially, they were just building an F1 car using Excel in a roundabout way, or at least keeping track of it. So they kind of got clowned on this week for that, and now they make this decision, which isn't going to be a popular one. Again, people love Alex Albon, but when it comes down to it, he's being rewarded for his mistake again for the second year in a row. So. Let me know in the comments what you think about this move. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.